These are estimated time of arrival warm-up problems. The first one reads, you leave at 6.05. Your speed is 18.2 nautical miles per hour, and the distance to your destination is 13.3 nautical miles. What is your ETA? So we have a distance, a speed, so we can get a time. Our distance Distance to your destination is 13.3 nautical miles. Our speed is 18.2 nautical miles per hour. Our time is equal to distance over speed. So we take distance divided by speed and we get, so our distance, 13.3, 13.3 divided by 18.2 equals 0.73 hours. See, these two nautical miles cancel off. We're left with hours. We get 0.73 hours. And now we left at 6.05. Well, we need to convert. This isn't quite an hour, right? This is, we need to convert this to minutes. So 0.73 3 times 60 equals minutes times 60 equals 43.8 minutes let's say so it's 43.8 minutes that is really close to 44 minutes and what we have is 605 plus 44 minutes goes to this is 5 and 4 is 9 649 let's look at the second one and all all of these are gonna go in the same pattern so here we are with number two number two says you leave at 1113 your speed is 9.6 nautical miles per hour and the distance to your destination is 17 Point three nautical miles. What's your ETA? All of these are going to have the same setup. We're dealing with distance, speed, and time. The distance, 17.3 nautical miles. Speed, 9.6 nautical miles per hour. And our time is equal to distance divided by speed. 17.3 divided by 9.6. We'll do this. 17.3 divided by 9.6 equals 1.8 hours. 1.8 hours. We need to convert this 0.8 hours to minutes because we can't add 1.8 hours to 11.13. We'd get 12.8 hours and 13 minutes right so we need to convert this 0.8 hours over 0.8 times 60 equals clear 0.8 times 60 equals 48 minutes 48 minutes so we add one hour and 48 minutes to 11:13. 1113 1 hour and 48 minutes so 3 8 9 10 11 1 that's 5 6 notice it's 61 we got to change that 11 plus 1 is 12 so we need to take we can you never hear someone say it's 1261 we need to take 60 out of here and we'll be left with 1 minute and this will change to 13 Right, so we take 60 minutes out and turn that to an hour. So we get 13.01. Now let's check out number three. Rearrange. All right, number three. You leave at 11.03. Your speed is 11.3 nautical miles an hour. And the distance to your destination is 10.5 nautical miles. What's your ETA, or estimated time of arrival? Again, we're given a distance, a speed, we get a time. Our distance is 10.5 
nautical miles. Our speed, 11.3 nautical miles per hour. 11.3 nautical miles per hour. Time is equal to distance divided by speed. So it's 10.5 divided by 11.3. 10.5 divided by 11.3 equals 0.929. So we're going to say 0 0.93. It's equal to 0 0.93 hours. Now, we need to change that to minutes. 0 0.93 times 60 equals clear 0.93 times 60 equals 55.8 minutes so 55.8 minutes is closer to 56 minutes this is the part that confuses people about time is they get a number 55.8 and they forget about the units they don't under, they don't know which units it's in you got to really keep your Keep your eye on the units. Keep track of what you're doing. This is 0.93 hours. 0.93 hours times 60 minutes in an hour comes to 56 minutes. So now we add that 56 minutes to 11.03. 11.03 plus 56 minutes. 6, 7, 8, 9. 11.59. Good, so we're on to four. Number four says, you leave at 1048. Your speed is 8.3 nautical miles per hour. And the distance to your destination is 10.4 nautical miles. What's your ETA? We got a distance of 10.4 nautical miles, a speed of 8.3 nautical miles per hour 8.3 nautical miles per hour and time is equal to distance divided by speed which equals 10.4 divided by 8.3 and again these nautical miles will cancel and you'll be left with hours so 10.4 10.4 divided by 8.3 equals 1.25 1.25 hours so this is already in hours and now we need this decimal 0.25 hours and this 0.25 is one quarter so a quarter of an hour is 15 minutes right let's just prove that 0.25 times 60 equals clear 0.25 times 60 equals 15 minutes it's always good to check check your math mentally you know 0.25 equals 15 0.5 equals 30 0.75 equals 45 minutes so you can get a good idea of where you are you can guesstimate, which is a good practice. So then you know you're in the right region. So we have 1 hour and 15 minutes. We add that to 1048. 1048, 1 hour, 15 minutes. 8 plus 5 is 13. That's 5, 6. Again, we have the 63, 10, 11. So 1163, we have to take out this 60, make it into an hour. So we have 1203. And the last one, let's check that out. The last one says, you leave at 242. Your speed is 9.3 nautical miles an hour. And the distance to your destination is 8.4 nautical miles. What is your ETA? Again, we have a distance, a speed, and a time. The distance is 8.4 nautical miles. The speed is 9.3 nautical miles an hour. 9.3 nautical miles per hour. 
and the time is equal to the distance divided by the speed, which is 8.4 divided by 9.3, which is interesting. We know it's going to be less than an hour, the time, just by that division. So keep that in mind, and we'll make sure to keep yourself on track. Time seems like it'd be easy to deal with, but it's what messes people up the most. So distance divided by speed, 8.4 divided by 9.3 equals 0.9. So our time is equal to 0.9 hours. Let's convert that to minutes. 0.9 hours times 60 equals, and again, I know it's going to be over 45 minutes. 0.75 would be 45 minutes. It's going to be somewhere 50 something. Clear. 0.9 times 60 equals 54. 54 minutes. So now we're going to add that 50 more. 54 to 242. 2 hours, 42 minutes, plus 54 minutes. 4, 5, 6. And this is 9, 2. So 296, we have to take 60 out of here, right? If you take 60 away from 96 we get 36 and plus an hour here 336 so these are the estimated time of arrival warm-up problems and now you'll go on to charting to get the distance